There was a lot that came on at one point in time. We were considering continuous learning. We were looking at a lot of different models of what a school looked like when we don't meet uh, within the school. And two significant things for our students is prom and graduation. And so that became something early on. That's not something we just wanted to uh, take a shortcut on. Um, we considered a lot of different options, but prom and graduation were two at the forefront. And uh, we didn't feel that prom was feasible. And so as a result, we pulled the plug on that, but then we turned all of our focus on how do we maintain commencement, which impacts all of our students. In order for the high school to have some type of commencement, they needed to make sure they were following the social distancing guidelines set by Governor Reynolds and the Iowa Department of Health. Ultimately, that was following the lead of our governor, and uh, Governor Reynolds was laying out the expectations for what is appropriate, what do we have to adhere to, and can we do the best we can? Uh, what are the critical components was kind of our driving question. Uh, for a student to have some level of closure of this experience, uh, to see them walk across the stage, to see them uh, be able to have their family present, to have their first middle and last name, you know, read aloud. And so those are the components that we thought were critical, you know, and uh, that was the feedback that we heard. And so those are the components we tried to adhere to and also stay within the um, social distancing aspect. A normal graduation ceremony can last as long as an hour and a half to two hours. This recorded ceremony took weeks of planning beforehand and four days to execute the actual commencement while still adhering to the social distancing guidelines set by the state. It was really a team approach, and uh, and I think you know, as an administrative team, we involved the counselors. We inc involved, uh, you know, uh, counselors also oversee some of our student leadership. Uh, we were able to get feedback from student leadership, from parent group as well, uh, with the admin team here at the high school, with the admin team within district office, and we just started problem solve. What are, what are the options? So students enter uh, and families enter as one whole group. You know, it's ten members or less. Uh, they enter in the gymnasium entrance. They come in they're welcome they pick up a sign so we limit the the interaction that happens there um, they make their way into the hallway we have yellow tape marks uh, so people are standing at least 15 feet apart to allow the 10 family members to be uh, socially distanced throughout the hallway um, we have a, a video recording down the hallway where it's playing pomp and circumstance, but it's also you know, showing a visual of what it's gonna look like to walk across the stage. Um, we have a banner hanging in the hallway where there's an opportunity for people to capture pictures. And so at the last stop before you enter the auditorium, if there's pictures that you wanna capture of your family, uh, that's set up. And then students enter one side of the stage and the family is isolated to another part of the auditorium. Um, students get a quick rundown of how they cross the stage. They get their picture taken by life touch they turn and they face their family uh, for a few seconds to capture those images uh, and then they exit the stage uh, they reconnect with their family and then they go out the entrance or uh, what is the main entrance of our building so I mean it just kind of it's a it's a natural flow we're limiting the exposure uh, that, that families have even within the building um, it's very controlled in that regard um, and like I say the, the, the distance has been really adhered to super grateful for our school community and following the guidelines that we set out we intended this to for this to be a safe event. You know, I think the awareness has been really strong. I think the number of people who are wearing masks as they enter the building. Um, we do ask that the students have taken off their masks to walk across the stage. It's extremely limited in that regard. I think we're taking as many precautions as we possibly can to, to, to really adhere. You know, we have people who are very uh, passionate about, you know, the public safety aspect. And uh, they're within our school community as well. And uh, I think we've received very favorable feedback from people at the highest levels of risk as well. And so I. Like I say, I just think it's a full team effort. Um, I'm just I'm just a part of that, but I'm, I'm very proud with what we're doing and how we're doing it. And we're also extremely thankful for Channel 15 um, because it takes a lot of your time too. It's not just us in the 16 hours. It's taken many hours of your guys' time as well. Graduating from high school is a grand achievement for students. This achievement is recognized by the high school staff and all the friends and family members of the student. And Cedar Falls wanted to make sure that this opportunity was not missed. We have resources, we have a supportive community. I mean, holy cow, we couldn't do this without the resources of our community. And I just think it says a lot about the value that we have in education, the value that we put into the experience here. It's the right thing to do, because um, it's important to our families. Um, that's a big deal. You know, it, it makes even emotional because um, we have office staff who have, uh, and teachers who have graduating, graduating students. And um, you see how it impacts them. You want to do the right thing. It is a good feeling, but it's also a range of emotions because for some, it wasn't what they had hoped. 
Um, and, and so there's some level of disappointment that's in there, but I think there's also a significant level of appreciation for what has gone on. So I think that's a mixed bag. You know, it's an emotional time for the, for the families. It's an emotional time for our students. They need this closure in this chapter of their life to really open the doors to the next stage. And so that's why we were committed to this particular process, um, just to make sure that they had their time, hear the name read, celebrate with their family. Uh, it, it's a bit of closure for our students who have already dealt with a really difficult last semester of their uh, school year.